Hello. Welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I will be doing a reading for the Scorpio Collective. It is a general meeting, so as always, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for somebody else. My <clears throat> readings are not meant to take the place of any medical professional. Please, 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 if you feel that you need medical professional help, please go and seek that professional. I know how hard it can be. What is going on with the Scorpio Collective? What do Scorpio, what do the Scorpios need to know? Well, it looks like you're uh, closing out some cycles. Yeah, you're closing out some cycles there. All right, if there's cuts in the layouts, like you think that there's a cut or something, it's probably because I am so, how do I say it? I'm so rigid when it comes to my cards. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, I may have a real problem with it. I have two Virgo placements. And so whenever I do something, I like to do it completely and perfectly. I also have an Aries Sun, a Leo Moon, and Gemini Rising. So not only do I like to do things perfectly, but I like to show them off and talk about them. And I love being first. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on, with Scorpio. Okay. Believe in yourself. Now it's looking like you might be falling into a place where you're learning patience. You're coming into conscious awareness due to a an epiphany having to do with politics and comparisons. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and coming into an understanding and an awareness that you are whole and complete on your own. And what other people were seeing as being lazy was you going within and finding yourself and not worrying about what everyone else had to say in the meantime. Because what you were doing had nothing to do with everybody else. It was solely to do with you. Patience. Patience. One of your lessons is patience. One of your lessons in this lifetime is patience. You're coming to an awareness that you can no longer procrastinate when it comes to who you love, what you believe in, your passions, your dreams, your hopes, your desires, your goals. You can't wait around waiting for someone else to come along and say, hey, you know that dream you had and you need X, Y, Z amount of money to fund it? Well, here's the money. That might not happen. Scorpio, that more than likely won't happen that way. 
And if it does, wow, manifestation is powerful with you. So keep putting that uh, I need a million dollars out there, please. Please. I need a million dollars. Because I want to build my own self-sufficient community. It's going to take more than a million dollars to do what I want to do, though. That's just to start it. Yep, you're healing, you're transforming, and you're doing it in silence, possibly away from where the trauma happened that you're healing from. And you're doing it, you're doing it alone, by yourself, in silence. And you know that your manifestations are coming true so therefore you are taking this time to actually use your wishes wisely you know that healing is a lifelong journey it's not something that happened for you overnight and you have the wisdom to know that you're transforming on a very very deep level you're falling in love with someone or making a serious commitment to them you are finding forgiveness. Please don't give up. Your relationship can be healed just as you're healing. Whatever damage you think happened in this relationship, um, it's healing too. And it can be healed. It can be worked on. Unless it's like, I'm not going to say, hey, go work on something with someone that like beat the crap out of you and literally like abused you, treated you like doo-doo and was narcissistic. No, I'm sorry. That's not worth working out. Don't work that out. Please don't work that out. Let's see what they wanted to say. Emotions are running high. Confidence is your key to success. Communication is key. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Luck is on your side. Have faith in your dreams. The answers you need are coming. And expect powerful change as I said you are transforming you're healing you're working on yourself and that is magnetic to the person that you're calling in the person that is meant to be your person is Literally, they're, they're running neck and neck with you while you're healing their healing. Whatever traumas you guys have had in the past, you're both healing, like, at the same time, separately. So when you come together, you're both healed. And you come together in harmony and union and complete. It's, it's going to be like no relationship you've ever had before. It's going to be emotionally fulfilling. You're going to have family and friends surrounding you because you're done comparing yourself. You're you're now living in with the conscious awareness that you are whole and complete on your own. You have this understanding. You no longer have to compare yourself to anyone else in your life. You know your dreams are coming true, which is why you're wishing wisely. And you have the patience. You're learning patience. While you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, you're learning to have faith and patience. 
You know your manifestations are coming. You know that they're coming. You know this. Because you know these manifestations are coming. You know that they're on their way to you. You're taking a little bit of a laissez-faire approach. A little lazy approach to it. Which is great because that's great for you. That's great for you. You need to, to take a step back and do the inner work, the inner healing, the inner transformation. Because when you're doing the inner work and the inner healing and that kind of a transformation, you are showing the universe exactly what you want, what you need, where you're going, where you're headed. You're showing the universe that you are serious. Yep. Passion. On the hunt. Yeah, you're serious for what you're going after, for the goals that you're setting. For yourself. And you may see an empty room, but the creator had to start somewhere. Don't cry. And if you do cry, like, understand that this is you letting go of grief. Your inner child is um, begging to be seen. You might want to bring an offering to your inner child. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You know that you have the passion. You are hunting for yourself. You're searching for yourself. You're, you're finding yourself. You're healing on a deep, level like a shamanistic type walkabout level where you are vowing things to yourself like you're taking vows to for yourself and you are going within you are healing your inner child you are you are on the path of the shaman and the mystic which kind of run parallel to each other an ocean starts with a single drop. And you can cry an ocean of tears. But it's not going to fill the empty room. Your tears, while they are valid to you, and they are valid, your emotions are valid, your sorrow is valid, your pain is valid, you need to sit in that empty room with yourself for a little while. It will lead you to the divine and you will heal yourself on a level that will help you show others how to heal. That's your passion, that's your flame, that's your direction. You need to help others. But you need to help them in ways that you're helping yourself right now. That's that's some some blessings right there. You've got some some gifts here. Let me tell you, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have got a lot. But you know what? You're doing it in silence and solitude in the empty room by yourself. You're you're healing yourself alone and I give you props for that because you're transforming out of the sight of like the public you're doing this on your own you're flourishing you're basically glowing up on your own and can't nobody hold you down can't nobody hold you back either because you were meant to do this and you were always meant to shine All right, Scorpio. Deep heart healing. Like I've been saying, you were healing. I knew it. 
You are healing from some big stuff here. Yeah. Oh yeah, some major, major health issues, addictions, mental health issues. You're healing from all of that. Possibly someone, someone could have abused you. And you've had to literally reprogram your mind from what these people or this person did. The world let you down, left you out in the cold, possibly created the um, shadow parts of you or your devils. Um, that was the world. Or the people in the world. Oh, hello. I didn't even know you were underneath there. Hmm. Yeah. Choices, 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 choices. There's another one underneath there, too. Oh, wow. The devil was hiding the Ten of Cups. Robert. Are you that? That is some. Your addictions are hiding the fact that you just want to be happy. You're using your addictions to cope and run away. You may be codependent. You may be an enabler. You may actually have the addictions yourself. But you are using this as an excuse. Your devil is your excuse that you don't have this 10 of cups. The reason why you don't, you're saying, is because of the devil. The devil is the reason you don't have these, these cups. But honestly, no, it's the choices that you make because this devil is on your shoulder is why you don't have your 10 of cups. This is why you can't start over. This is why you're having a tower moment. This is why you're having a freaking spiritual awakening. It's why you're going through the dark night of the soul. Currently, more than likely, you're being drugged through the mud. And the reason why is because you, you, Scorpio, and it's funny because as soon as I pulled these out, there you are. I didn't even, didn't even try and it was right there. You want a new beginning so bad. You want to start over. You're having epiphanies. You're having tower moments. You're falling. Your, your, your foundation is crashing around you and you're willing to rebuild it. But you're denying that you had anything to do with it. And you're the whole reason why it's falling down. You had everything to do with it. And you didn't. Because, I mean, I can say honestly, it looks like you were kind of programmed wrong or conditioned wrong from the beginning, from like the start of your life, pretty much. Um, you are programmed to see love blindly. Like if you were in love with someone, or if you were with someone, and you were in love with them, you saw them with blinders. They could do no wrong. And they treated you like crap. And they, right now, you're having a dark night of the soul because, yeah, because you're being eaten by all the, the predators. They just, you're running away from your problems. You're running away from your emotions because you're afraid. 
So you're resisting your tower moment. You're resisting coming into completion with yourself. And you're resisting happiness. You're resisting love. You're resisting a peaceful existence because of your devil. Because somehow you made the wrong decision and ended up out in the cold and you're blaming you're blaming the devil for the reason why you're out in the cold you're blaming the devil for your tower because yeah you're blaming the devil for your tower you need to go within you need to look at yourself you need to heal yourself you need to learn who you are you need to learn that this this devil that ain't the reason you ain't got the ten of cups the reason you ain't got the ten of cups is because you were acting on that devil you chose to follow that devil instead of the universe you chose to follow that devil instead of listening to your conscious awareness and and following the understanding that you knew within yourself. That's why you're in the spot that you are. It's not because of somebody else. I mean, granted, somebody else may have done some horrible shit to you and that may be the reason why you need to heal. But listen, it's not their job to heal you. Whoever broke you, Whoever did that, it is not their job to fix it. It's not. Yeah. And you're coming to terms with that. You're coming to terms with the fact that the person that broke you is not going to heal you. You were looking to them for answers, for healing, for, for a reason. And they're just, they're not going to, they're not going to give that to you. You have to step up into your empress energy and you have to be the magician of your reality and you have to put an end to this cycle and call down judgment. Karma's coming and is your is your devil that bad that karma is going to give you bad things or was your devil kind of codependent and you thought you were helping people? Because it seems to me you fight with yourself a lot over your own transformative powers. Your devil could simply be that you doubt yourself too much, Scorpio. Way too much. And you have so many options, so many reasons not to. So many reasons not to. But you do. What can we do, right? That was interesting. It said 30303. It's like 333. All right, listen, Scorpio. You're not, you were not trusting yourself. So these people got into your life. You were not trusting yourself. You were fighting with yourself, which caused these people an easy access into your life. And you thought that your devil was the reason why you don't have these Ten of Cups. But in all reality, it was your choices to have certain people around you that perpetuated certain cycles that you are now noticing, you are now becoming consciously aware of, and you are now putting it into. Because in a way, it's like you're calling judgment on people in your life. It's like, you're, this is your final judgment in my life. If you're going to stay in my life, you can't be doing X, Y, Z. And if you're going to be doing X, Y, Z, well, then you got to go. And you're not afraid to cut ties. You're not afraid 
to say, get out of my life. It doesn't matter if it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your niece, your nephew, your cousin. It doesn't matter who this, these people are in your life. It doesn't matter if it's your best friend from like kindergarten. You're not afraid to cut ties. You're not. And you're doing this for you. All right. If you stay down for the ride and you caught my vibe and you want to join my tribe, please subscribe, like, share, comment, do your thing. As always, I love you guys and peace.